Hey there, um, folks. Uh, this is Kobe from KobeRot.com, and I'm making this video for Daniel Keller. He was talk, uh, asking about how to upload squeeze pages and edit them to uh, fit his own niche and his own freebie. So today I'm going to be reworking this squeeze page. You may have seen this one before. This is uh, promoting an affiliate product. And it's converting okay. It's converting about 38 to 40 percent for me, uh, but I'd like to get that up to a lot higher and make it a less generic because I've seen this on a few other marketers with the same squeeze page. So I'm gonna make it more my own. To begin with, you're gonna need a free HTML editor. I'm using Composer. It's spelled K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. You can get that at Composer.net or just Google it. Uh, once you get it installed, you need to go to Open and then browse to your squeeze page. Crap, same one. Squeeze for Let's try this one. All right. Get this. And for the headline, I'm just gonna copy and paste it from this one because I, I like the headline. And to paste, you hit Control V, center it, delete this space up here, delete this space underneath, sometimes when you're using HTML editor, it'll do funny things like what it just did there. The subhead heading here, free video, free list building video reveals all. Okay, and uh, fix all of this. Enter email below for instant access. Free video. Gonna underline this. And I don't like to put something like this, we will never sell or otherwise, because that's kind of drawing attention to it. Some people will um, argue with argue with me. I just like to change it to something positive. So you'll get instant access to this video. And here where it says enter autoresponder code, I use Imnica. So I'm going to cruise over there, got it right here, and I'm going to choose uh, HTML code, code, and I'm just going to look in here, and I'm just going to pull out the very, very basic part, which starts with form, and it's going to end with form right here, and I'm going to use control C to copy that, go back to composer, see this is still highlighted. I'm going to choose source down here at the bottom. Uh, sometimes it'll leave it highlighted. It didn't leave it highlighted for us this time. That's okay. We'll just look for where it says enter your autoresponder code. Here it is. And I'm going to do all this because I don't need the color. But I do want it centered. So control V. Paste it in there. Go back to normal. See what it looks like. Or let's just make a best email address. Okay, and I'm also going to change this button. First, I want to. So, I'm going to change the button to something 
subscribe is not very user friendly. <laughs> People don't uh, like that word, so I'm going to change it to get instant access or something like that. Since I can find it in my form here. There it is. <clears throat> I'm going to change to watch video now. Now that all that done, this is done, I'm just going to copy and paste it so that uh, I can save time because there's actually two opt-in forms on this squeeze page. One's top and one's the bottom. One above the fold and one below the fold. And actually I want to get all the center. So I'm just gonna... Now that I've done that, I'll go back to normal. See, it looks pretty good. Don't worry about these. Whenever you go to... Preview, you can see it centers it, so. Actually, I just underline it. There we go. I'm going to come down here. Do the same thing. It says enter our responder code. Just gonna highlight that and then press Control V. Should all be in there. I'm gonna change this. If that's not the best phrase, to change the color. You go to Format, Text Color, choose your color. I'm gonna choose blue. And I'd like to take some of this watt space out. Okay, now that that one's done, I'm just going to put some benefits here. I'm going to bold these, increase the, there we go, and change the, actually we'll leave the color black. There we go, let's change this to blue, increase it. There you go. That's it. Uh, I'll go ahead and just leave this one down here. Let's change this to your info will never be shared. So that way that those that love to do that won't graph at me. We'll underline it. And that's all you do. Save it. And then you just upload it with your FTP client. Choose a folder. Uh, downloads or find your squeeze page. That one was called Squeeze Four. So we'll upload it. I'll go over here and just change it, change the name. index.html, it'll ask me if that's what I'm sure I want to do, and I'm going to say yes, of course. We'll close, I'll go back and refresh the page. There you go, there you have it, it's that simple. Now, uh, it doesn't have a back, uh, border around it, so I'm going to fix that real quick. Let's go back to Composer, go to Source. And at the top it should say something like border, like, oh, and we need a title too. Free list building video. Border right here. We're going to change that to two or three is what I normally do. Uh, cell padding, we're going to change that to five. 
And that should fix us up. There we go. Save it and then just repeat the process with your FTP client. Double click to upload it. Rename it index.html. Yes, I'm sure. Go back to the page and we'll take a look at it. I'll refresh it so you can see it. There you go. That's simple. It's all that you have to do. And you're be ready to rock and roll. If you want to learn more, you can check out this video, which is koberide.com list dash video or listbuildingecourse.com. This is Kobe Rat signing off.